as for every good adventure, we have to eventually leave the house, leave the Santa hat, and stop being a fucking sad little potato head, as you can see, and adventure back out into the real world. And you know how long it's been since I have seen daylight? I mean, I'm a, I'm a frickle little creature, but sometimes you just gotta be like, man, seasonal depression just so bad. Somebody's gonna be like, Robbie, do you actually have seasonal depression? A little bit, damn. Kinda sucks. Cause you know, it's the holidays, bad memories, grandparents are dead, you know? It's the usual sad little pickle. But you know, eventually you just gotta tough it up and get back on with your daily life. So, as for all true tradition, welcome to the 13th day of Christmas. Where, for some reason, I fucked up and we're going one extra day. So... As all good things must return to normal, and I must become a daywalker again. This is a salute to the 8 a.m. Wendy's, because life. <laughs> it's so fucking true, though. Again, Wendy's at 8 a.m. What a time to be alive. All right, guys. Merry Christmas. Ho, 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 motherfuckers. It is your boy, Christmas Eve, Call 40. Now, if you're watching this video, it's going to be Christmas in some parts of your world. Um, but I'm still going to keep up with my promise. On Christmas Day, there's going to be another deck profile. And on that swagtastic day of Christmas, we're going to give away a bunch of the stuff that was unclaimed. we got like five or six things left over. And for today's contest, if you want to get entered into this, um, I'm going to be giving out a couple sets of the Blue Shirt Squad dice. Um, this was the reprinted run. They're not gold like the patron dice. And there are only two sets of these out in circulation. Um, besides the two sets I've given out to my close friends IRL. But they don't count for shit. Just kidding. You gotta love your friends, right guys? So if you want to get entered in to win these, um, not sure how many sets we're going to give out. They're going to be a couple. Um, we can go USA and international on these. We've got to support the people that take care of this channel. Uh, so there'll be multiple winners. I'll have them announced on the day of Christmas. That way you guys can claim your prizes, aka claim some nice dice sets. I'm not going to be an asshole and only going to give you one of these. You'll get two of them. That way you can get the chance to sport off your swagtastic love for me. And yesterday's winner is going to be down below in the description. You know? That swagtastic guy that won. <laughs> that gym playmat, you know? You know, we, we really went into overdrive this year. And, like, you don't understand, like, how fucking exciting it is to be here at this stage. Just, you know, the, the best part about getting into the Christmas season, especially, like, being at this stage, is you gotta remember where you came from, where are you going, and you gotta always remember fucking Cotton Eye Joe. Of course, of course. So, once again, guys, happy holidays. It almost sounded like we are getting ready to end the video, right? Just kidding. All right, so we actually have a deck profile today from Derek Floyd, and I've been sitting on this one for a couple of days. And this is Morphtronic, a.k.a. I want to link summon some shit on my opponent. Now, I didn't, didn't bring any of the replays over for this pile of junk, but this is another one of those reasons why I was talking about Brilliant Fusion as a card needs to get the fuck out of the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. This card is degenerating as all hell literally every day that goes by. Brilliant Fusion gets closer to that. We need to terminate and just kill this thing. And I think your issue with allowing, like, sure, you can put this to one or you can kill Seraph Knight. The reason I think that Brilliant Fusion is the issue at this point in time is because you also have Scorpio. If we limit Brilliant Fusion to one, or if we ban Seraph Knight, you can still abuse this engine, because searching for Instant Fusion for Theseus is about as retarded as fucking Brilliant Fusion for Seraph Knight. I've seen a lot of combo extenders just being able to go instant fusion with your normal summon into fucking Theseus and just set up even more advantage is ridiculous. And it's also, you know what else the protoplane engine makes? It makes fucking Aurora Mage Jasmine, which allows you to fucking further go up your plant line and do other things. Literally, normal summon mathematician is an FTK in Japan at the moment. And it's super fucking ridiculous just, like, what is going on 
with some of these decks and some of the combos that you can do. And of course, as opposed to any good combo deck here, you know, Morphtronics are one of those decks that can spam, spam, and uh, fucking spam out their ass. Like, you all thought that Yu-Gi-Oh! was a pleasant experience before this. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> Typical things that climb the ladder like this, though. Oh, so good. So, this is Derek's rendition of this. I had another one of these sent in to me afterwards, but I, I liked Derek's um, over that one. So, one Morphtronic Boomboxin. One Radeon, of course. Uh, triple Scopin. Triple Cellphon. And, of course, triple smartphone. Haha. <laughs> and then one remotin. And then for the rest of the monsters, triple or the Scorpio. One Darling Cobra sucks if you draw it. One Garnet sucks if you draw it. One Trick Clown sucks if you draw it. One Jet Synchron. Of course, you're going to just be able to revive this or bring this out as your tuner. It's whatever you want to do with it. One Gold Bulb. One Scrap Recycler. One Gofu. Two Ash Blossom. Two Ghost Ogre. And one maxi a very 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 small hand trap lineup i mean you can adjust and play three ash blossom and open up an extra slot in the deck but two and two gives you a little bit more diversity room to kind of adapt to the situations that you feel um spells triple machine duplication triple junk box triple brilliant fusion one for one soul charge Regeki, and one Dark Hole. Side decks is kind of more of the things that you can play with, whether or not it be one more Jet Synchron, one more Remotant, one more Radeon. And then, you know, bear in mind that, as opposed to all true things, if you want to mess around with evenly matched in the side deck, Solemn Strikes, you've got very, very important options to you. Cosmic Cyclones, Twin Twisters. Be a little bit more careful about those things because combo pieces um, needing to be used for things like this. But that's something important to keep in mind. Uh, the extra deck. Of course, one Seraph Knight. Oh, who, who doesn't love this card? One Librarian. One Stardust Charge Warrior. Two Formula Synchron. Literally just going into this with this and then just being like, oh, let me, you know, take go into more monsters. I mean, who doesn't love Droll 2? One Ib. One Proxy Dragon. One Decode. One Link Rebo. Two Firewall. One Needle Viber. One Boralode. One Topological Bomber Dragon. And of course, Stolite of the Bullshit. I love the fact that just cool OTKs like this generally exist. And I know it's been a while since we've like looked at these, but like the cool thing, like their spam capabilities, literally just while in attack position, you roll six sided dice, reveal, and especially some one level four lower morphtronic monster from among them, bypassing the summoning conditions. This card is a massive powerhouse, um, just in what it does, and it's. <laughs> It's not like you can't revive things in any mode that you literally choose. Fucking Junk Box does it. Um, this guy over here, this also lets you add a Morphtronic from your deck to your hand for excavating. <laughs> this whole deck is just pure advantage. It's kind of a shame that like Morphtronics just kind of got the blunt end of the stick. Um, just being a archetype that only literally fed into Power Tool Dragon um, in like, the few couple of times that it came up. So, so we're going to shovel up some of the hands here. Kind of take a look at this. Uh, double scoping. Um, this is the one that you can switch some one Morphtronic monster from your hand. No well, defense mode. Uh, it is level four. It's such an ironic effect. <laughs> so we can exceed with it or sync with it, right? Boomboxing for the double attack isn't awful, but I mean, you're going to start with self on and kind of see where your day's going there. Obviously, with a deck like this, Brilliant Fusion or Ortho Scorpio effect is going to be a thing. And I know I read a few complaints about people like, well, why would we hit the purple energy when we have so many hand traps? You know, the amount of times that we don't draw those hand traps, Maximus output us, you know, this guy, he's at one here. We don't get typical bullshit fixations with that. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. I also, this hand is not too goddamn bad. Uh, I Normal summon this, start your day with Soul Charge. Um, you're not going to particularly get far, but um, it can definitely get you there. I haven't seen a, oh, cool, protoplan. No, we drew Garnet. This is my luck. Yo, I'm. Uh, can we stop drawing Trick Line? That'd be great, thanks. Ooh, cell font. God, why are, I uh, see, you guys, you guys think this is a joke? You know, like, I always joke that I'm not allowed to play the decks that play Garnet, because I'll always draw the Garnet. Yeah, it, this is the curse, as you can see. You know, build this deck, give it a fucking shot, See what you think about it. You know, it's the cool thing about the holidays. You know, we get to make those home brews. 
that you guys like to test. So guys, if you want to get entered in to win some of those swagtastic dice, you know, please leave a comment down below. Um, it's my thanks to you guys for the holidays. You guys have been a wonderful help getting me through the holidays this season. And, you know, we're going to have a lot more good content. A lot better content, actually. I'm going to learn English um, after the holidays. So, I'll get you guys through. I've got a couple things planned for the holidays here to kind of get us through that three to four day gap where I'm going to probably be eating and going into a food coma. So, hey guys. Finally, kind of take the hat off. We're going to need it again for Christmas Day, but happy holidays, everybody. Have a good one with your family. The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Card Fight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.